Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to install WHMCS inside of a subdirectory for a subdomain. Uh, many of you that are reseller web hosts don't want your billing system in your main root folder and that's understandable. What I actually recommend to a lot of our resellers is that I like to use WordPress to the front end of my website, meaning that you use WordPress to actually display your site and to sell the products, but then you put the billing system, WHMCS, on a subdomain of its own and that way that clients can go log into that and um, it's really helpful so you don't have to do template modifications. If you're familiar with WHMCS, you know they come out with a lot of updates. So by placing it inside of a subdirectory, you can make sure that WHMCS stays updated and it stays looking um, nice and neat and organized. And then you can have the front end of your website using WordPress untouched. So let me show you how to do this. Um, right now I'm on our um, reseller hosting page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the package with WHMCS, which is our corporate. It's our most popular package. Um, I'm going to enter uh, my domain. I've actually got one, so it's called resellerhostingus.com. Um, so I'm going to use one that I've already got. I'm going to select my billing cycle. I recommend going with our 24 month price. Um, currently, it's $19.97 with our promo, so I'll, I'll show you that on the next page, but that's what I recommend. Um, when you're doing the order process here, you have to select the WHMCS license. It is free with the package, um, but you do have to select it here, so it provisions. Now, if, if you're not going to use WHMCS, of course, you wouldn't want to do that, but um, you want to make sure you add it there. Okay, so you can see it takes off. Um, our coupon code here for the summer sizzler um, saves you $316. So this is the best promotion we've ran on the corporate uh, reseller hosting package. I can't guarantee when you watch this video if we're still going to have the same promotion or not. Um, so if you're watching this and you see the summer sizzler, um, I do recommend checking out and getting it because again, it's only going to be around for this summer and then we're going to be um, changing our prices up just a bit. So one second while I complete my payment and then I'll resume this video. Okay, now I've completed my order and you can see we've got a little survey here powered by Shopper Approved. If you enjoyed your experience, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give us um, all five stars and um, also give us some feedback. Let us know what you think of it just so we, we can, uh, of course, tailor our services to improve. Um, at Name Hero, we always believe on improving. Every single day, we like to do something better than we did yesterday. So we'd really appreciate that. Okay, so once you place your order, I'm going to continue to the client area. Um, you're going to click Cloud Web Hosting. And you can see here's our corporate hero. This is the package we're working with right now. So I'm going to click on it and you can see all this good stuff. Now, the first thing you need to do once you order your package is register your name servers. Um, this is really important because these are free private white label name servers. So your customers won't see Name Hero, they'll see your own domain, but you have to register these. Now, if you didn't register your domain with us, um, you should transfer it or you should register a new name with us um, because it, we make it extremely easy to do this. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. If your domain's registered at GoDaddy or somewhere else, then you're gonna have to go register them there. Um, you can ask our support team for assistance if you need it. So I go to my domains, go to resellerhostingus.com. I'm going to make sure I'm not using them already. And you can see I've already got them set here. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and um, do this inside of here. Now I've already set them up for this specific domain, but um, what you would do is I'm actually, let me delete them and then reset them up so you can see it. I did another tutorial using these. So I'm just going to change these over to name hero really quick. And then we'll, we'll switch these up just so you can see how it works inside of our um, system here. So we'll go to private name servers. I'm going to go ahead and delete the ones I had and then we'll reset them up here in this tutorial so I can show you. Now if you order your domain with us, our support team sometimes when they're processing the order will do this for you. Um, so if you already see them in there then that's taken care of but um, if not then you just do this real quick. So we copy the IP address of the first one. We go back here we just enter NS1 and the IP address save changes. We go back over here and grab the second IP, NS2, and then we put the second IP. So it's a very simple process, but it just has to be done. This is what ties your domain to your reseller hosting account. So now we're going to go to name servers, and we're going to swap them from name hero to ns1.resellerhostingus.com. 
in ns2.resellerhostingus, change name servers. Now, any website that you host, all they have to do is once you set them up in your web host manager, they just have to change their name servers to this and their domain will reflect to your hosting. So that's taken care of, so we can close that out. Now, we wanna install WHMCS. So what we can do is click on add-ons I'm going to open it in another, actually it didn't open, but we're going to grab this license key. And you, you can see our free WHMCS license is right here. So we're going to copy this because we're going to need it to do our installation. All right. Now we're going to click right here, log in to cPanel, because this is where we're going to install WHMCS. Okay. Now the first thing we want to do is we have to create the subdomain. So we're going to type in subdomains. I want to call it clients. So clients.resellerhostingus.com will be our billing system. So I'm going to enter clients. Document root, I like to keep it just like this because that will tell me when I look at, uh, when I FTP in, it tells me where everything is. So we're going to click create. It has been created. Now we're going to go back to cPanel home and we're going to scroll down here to the bottom and we're going to find WHMCS. It's right here. We're going to click it. We're going to click install now. We're going to select um, HTTPS. We want to use clients.resellerhostingus. Now, this is interesting. This is actually a bug in Soft Delicious. It says a trusted SSL is checks not found. SSL is free and automatic at Name Hero for all accounts. Sometimes, it, for some reason, this auto installer does not recognize it. I think it's because Let's Encrypt is so new. So if you get this, don't worry about it. It's still going to install just fine. Okay, so in directory, we're going to put this in the root directory of our clients. So we're just going to erase WHMCS. We can leave this default. We can leave the cron job the same. We can enter our company name, our admin folder. I recommend making this a little hard to guess. Um, I don't like to use admin because attackers are gonna try that uh, the first thing. So um, we'll just call it access one, two. Now you can't use special characters, so please don't put an at symbol or anything like that because then it won't install correctly. Okay, now we have the valid license key. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that license key that I copied from the earlier step. Now you wanna make your admin username and password a lot harder than admin and pass, so I like to use the generator here. Um, and don't use admin, let's just, I'm gonna use my name. Um, it's bad practice to use admin because if someone tries to get into your install, it's the first thing they're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna just use the English language and click install. And it just takes a few minutes here, or a few seconds actually. And now it's installed. Now, when you first sign up, there's a period called DNS propagation. When you have a new domain or you just change your name servers, it could take up to 24 hours for it to show online. So what I normally recommend at this point is go grab a cup of coffee, go grab some lunch or dinner or breakfast or what have you, and then come back and check it because the chances are it hasn't propagated. And I'll click it here and I'm not sure if it's even gonna work on my screen. And you see, no, it's not, it's not quite propagated just yet. Um, so I'm gonna have to just wait and give it a little bit and, um, and wait till it um, propagates. You can actually see I can get to my admin area now. So I can actually get into it now and I can start um, customizing WHMCS. So I can log in with my username and password. Now, I just got lucky there because most of the time that's not going to be the case. It's not going to um, let you in that quickly. Um, and actually, I've got to reset my, my password again as well um, to get inside of there. But once you get to this point, you have installed it and it's active and it's on your subdomain and it's ready to be used and you're ready to start um, adding your clients. But that's how you install it in a subdirectory. Um, if we go back to our cloud web hosting and my services, we can click on our hosting package here and we can always go into cPanel here and we can always examine the file structure by going into file manager and we can just look at it here. So if you need to access your WHMCS directly, you can see it's all right inside of here. Now, if you have any troubles or questions, just let us know. We're more than willing to help. Um, we just asked though, like I said, I got lucky that it's, it, it is showing up and loading on my screen here after I installed it. But um, since I've demonstrated with this URL before, it's probably propagating a lot quicker. Um, so again, and have some patience if it doesn't propagate just immediately give it some time um, regarding the SSL certificate too because we get these questions a lot you can check this inside of web host manager all I did was click log into WHM and you can go to manage SSL host 
And this will show you the SSL certificate is in fact installed. You can see issuer lets encrypt and you can see that um, the secure certificate has installed correctly. So just ignore that warning. Um, we're working with them to hopefully get that fixed here soon um, so you don't see that anymore. But that's how you put WHMCS in a subdirectory and now you can use WordPress and build out your site on your on your root domain but then you have WHMCS in a subdomain. All right, so just let us know if you have any questions with that. Other than that, good luck with your reseller hosting business.